Hey kids, welcome to our new series. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Have you ever heard a story that was so wild and so crazy that you felt there was no way it could possibly be true? Maybe it was a story that a friend of yours told you. Maybe it was something you heard from your brother or sister. You heard it and thought, no way is that true. There are many stories that fit into that category. In this series, we are going to be learning from some of the most amazing stories of the Bible. In each one, there are going to be moments that you might think, what? That's crazy. And you'd be right. Many of the details of these stories will seem crazy, but as with everything in the Bible, they are absolutely 100% true. I can't wait for you to find out what our first crazy story is. So let's check out this video. Hello everybody! My name is Josh, and I've got a few friends with me. Say hello to Cletus. Yeah! Howdy! Gustav. Hi! Admiral Wallaby. Greetings and salutations! The Professor. <laughs> and... Ned. I don't want to be here. We know. Together, we're going to teach you about one of the wildest, yeah. craziest <laughs> things in the world. That's right, we're talking about prairie dogs, <laughs> chainsaws, <laughs> pickled goose. Uh, no. Oh dear. We were wrong, Goofy. Honk. Don't be sad. We're talking about the Bible. Say what now? Boring. The Bible is far from boring. It isn't just some dusty old book. <laughs> it has romance. Hello. <laughs> epic battles. Battles! Monsters. <laughs> and way more. And it all really happened. Real stories, real people, real history. I'm sorry, but that all sounds crazy. Exactly. That's why we're calling this series, I Know It Sounds Crazy, But It's True. Take, for instance, today's lesson. We're talking about a kid mm. who became king. Ugh. Yeah, you heard me, a kid. His name was Josiah, and he became king when he was only eight years old. Can you imagine an eight-year-old as king? What would that look like? As king, I declare that my Spider-Man action figure is now the sheriff, and school is closed forever. He should make broccoli illegal. <laughs> also, broccoli is illegal. Crazy as it sounds, it's true. God chose Josiah, an eight-year-old boy, to be king. But what do you think happens next? Will Josiah be able to handle it? Will he make God proud? Will he totally blow it? Will someone please get me out of here? Find out in today's lesson. We'll see you next time. Hit it, Professor! You mean this one? No, not that one! Okay, this one! <laughs> Wow, sounds like we're in for a real treat today. See, I can't wait to hear what all happens with Josiah. I can't imagine being so young and becoming king. Will Josiah use his power to do something big for God? You'll have to wait and see. You're going to learn all about how you don't have to wait until you're older to do big things for God in your lesson today. But right now, I want you to meet my friend, Disco Dave. He is going to teach us what you gotta know. What's happening, you crazy cats? It's me, Disco Dave, and I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. I'm so excited to be telling you all about this groovy new series called I Know It Sounds Crazy, But It's True. Today, we're learning all about how you're never too young to be used by God. So today, every time somebody asks you what you gotta know, 
you tell them, I'm never too young to change the world. Hot dog! It's the truth. Even kids can change the world. Whoa, chill, little man. Not like that. What I mean is God can use you to tell others about Jesus and make a huge difference for his kingdom. So today, every time somebody asks you what you got to know, you tell them, I'm never too young to change the world. That right there is what you got to know. I'm Disco Dave saying, Dino Mike. Today's Bible story is about a young boy named Josiah. He was eight years old. Many of you are eight years old. One day, he got some horrible news. You see, his father, Ammon, had died. And it was very sad for Josiah, just like you guys would be sad, too, if it was your father. But then, Josiah received even more news. You see, Ammon had been the king of Judah. Now that he was dead... Guess who was going to be crowned the new king? That's right, Josiah. Can you imagine being king of an entire country at eight years old? Most of you at eight years old are in third grade. What would be your first order of business? Would you demand that the palace chefs serve donuts for breakfast and pizza for lunch every single day? Would you order that a huge indoor pool be built inside your bedroom? Well, you see, Josiah didn't do any of those things. Josiah knew that he needed God's help if he was going to be a good king. He dedicated his reign to God and decided to do what was right in God's sight. You see, his father and grandfather had been evil kings. They weren't anything to be proud of. They had chosen not to follow God and instead created a bunch of idols to false gods. The first thing that Josiah did was order that all of the idols be torn down. Every single statue that had been raised to honor false gods was destroyed. Then Josiah did something else that pleased God. Not only did he get rid of all the evil idols, but he also ordered that the temple of God be completely rebuilt. He wanted people to begin worshiping the one true God. So he spent months and months restoring the temple to its original glory. It stood high and mighty in honor of the one true God. Josiah wasn't done yet. He had one more thing to do. By this time, Josiah was a few years older. One of the priests found the holy scriptures and he brought them to Josiah. The scriptures had been kept buried away for many years by his grandfather and father. So Josiah stood up in front of the leaders of Judah, and he began to read God's word out loud for all to hear. He wanted the people to know God's laws and for them to follow God's laws. And that is exactly what happened. The Bible says as long as he lived... They did not fail to follow the Lord, the God of their fathers. Pretty amazing, huh? Even though he was a young boy, Josiah was used by God to change an entire nation. In your lesson today, you're going to learn that you are never too young to do big things for God. Today we learned about the incredible journey of a young boy named Josiah. Josiah was young. But he didn't let that stop him from doing some incredible things for God. Now, he certainly could have come up with some excuses about why he was too young. He could have said, well, I just want to have fun. He could have said, I have too many things to do. I've got friends, sports, activities. There are many excuses that he could have thrown out, but instead he understood I am never too young to do big things for God. If God could use Josiah to rule as king and turn an entire nation back to serving God, then he can use each one of you. So many kids make the mistake of saying, I'm too young. They think that they have to wait until they are older before they can be taken seriously. They think, I'm just a kid. 
who is going to pay any attention to what I say? Today's power verse has some incredible advice for any kid who thinks these kinds of thoughts. It says, Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers. First Timothy six dot dot twelve. You must understand that no matter what your age is, you can do big things for God. So follow the advice of our power verse. The truth is that people are watching you. Younger children are watching you. Your friends are watching you. Adults are watching you. Your teachers are watching you. See, one of the biggest ways you can make a difference for others is to show them a good example of what it means to be a Christian. How do you do that? There's actually more to learn from 1 Timothy 4.12. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. That's a great list. If you want to be a good example for all believers, do it in what you say. Let your words be truthful, helpful, and kind. If you want to be a good example for all believers, do it in the way you live. Live every moment to please Jesus and follow his commands. If you want to be a good example for all believers, do it in your love. Show love to others, especially those who least deserve it. If you want to be a good example for all believers, do it in your faith. Believe that God can use you in a big time way. If you want to be a good example for all believers, do it in your purity. Stay away from sin at all costs. That is how you can be a good example for all believers. In what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Wow, you can all do that. It's what God has called you to do. You are never too young to be an example for all believers. So here is a lesson that you need to learn. Too many kids wait until they are older to start really making a difference. Of course, we learned today that there is no reason to do that. Josiah, he didn't use that excuse. God can use you no matter how young you are. So why wait? Every second you wait is a second you lose. Every minute you wait to allow God to use you is a minute you can't get back. You must start now. You are never too young to do big things for God. You see, God wants to use you to pray for the sick and see them healed. God wants to use you to share the gospel with others and see them become Christians. God wants to use you to love and encourage others. God wants to use you to give money to missionaries so that people across the world can hear the good news about Jesus. Do you want to change the world? Don't wait. Start now. You're never too young to change the world.